and I'm a youth soccer player from Canada. And today I'll be talking about my book called Dear Soccer. My name is Carlo and I am Mateo's little brother and today I will be interviewing Mateo. Looks like the referee has blown the whistle indicating the start of our interview. So let's begin. Mateo, how did you get inspired to write Dear Soccer? Dear Soccer started as a poem which I wrote for a writing competition in my hometown. Dear Soccer is a letter that I wrote to soccer, thanking soccer for everything it has given me. The idea for Dear Soccer, the poem, came from a film called Dear Basketball by Kobe Bryant. I was inspired to write Dear Soccer, the book, because when COVID started, people stopped going to our soccer practices. Sometimes it was just myself at practice, and this made me sad because kids were not enjoying soccer and benefiting from being active. I thought writing a book would be a good way to inspire kids to get back to being active. In Dear Soccer, you mentioned many times the value of being active. Can you tell us about this? I want to share Dear Soccer with the world because Dear Soccer promotes the benefits of being active. The world is becoming less active. People are spending their time watching screens, computers, TVs, and video games instead of participating in activities. Enrollment in youth activities has been dropping for years. Then COVID made things worse. For people who are active, activity is becoming too competitive. Kids and their parents are becoming more focused on winning trophies and less focused on the benefits that they can earn by being active. I want to tell people to put away the trophy and be active to help them become a better person. If we have better people, we can have a better world. What can readers look forward to seeing when they read Dear Soccer? Dear Soccer is fun. Dear Soccer is written like a scrapbook with old paper which contains photos, which I taped onto each page. Each photo is meant to represent a memory of a benefit you can have by being active. Page numbers are jersey numbers, which is good since Dear Soccer is a soccer book. Word clouds are added in various pages. Readers can explore word clouds to learn more about soccer players and soccer drills. Illustrations are colorful and fun and full of happy kids and parents benefiting from being active. Tell us more about the message of Dear Soccer. First message of Dear Soccer was for the importance of inclusion. Dear Soccer promotes inclusion by showing players of different races, gender, and handicaps playing soccer. I want to promote that being different should not stop anyone from being active. I am hoping Dear Soccer can inspire writers to continue the message of inclusion. Dear Soccer shows how being active helps people develop socially Social development is demonstrated by showing kids developing friendship and showing how being involved in soccer helps you to accept people of different cultures and countries. Dear Soccer shows how being active helps people develop mentally. Mental development is demonstrated by showing how soccer helps kids feel better, escape from problems and trouble, and learn how to win and lose. Dear Soccer shows how being active helps people develop physically. For example, I have pages that show how soccer training helps people become healthier and more disciplined. That's awesome, Mateo. I see that Dear Soccer has a lot of images of people enjoying playing soccer from around the world. Do you want to tell your readers why you chose these images? I want to promote soccer as a global sport, which brings the world together. So I show various kids playing soccer from different parts of the world and leave the message soccer for life in different creative ways in the language of each country. Can you tell us about the activity you have for parents and kids on the last page of Dear Soccer? The last page of Dear Soccer inspires readers to write a letter to an activity which they enjoy. 
I think this is a good activity because writing a letter helps readers to know what is the benefit of their participation in activity. Hopefully, this can help them motivate themselves or other people to be active. Well, I hear the final whistle has blown, indicating the end of our interview. Mateo, it's been a pleasure interviewing you. Dear Soccer is a great book. Is there any final words you want to give to your readers? Yes, I hope everyone enjoys Dear Soccer. I also hope Dear Soccer can inspire people to be active, and they can become a better person by being active. Soccer for life, 